What's going on, guys? It's Mike for Sim Racing 604. Welcome on board the Porsche 911 GT3R here at Road America. We are going up against a field of GT3 cars. Going to do 15 laps just kind of cuz. So, uh, stock setup just adjusted the fuel so we have enough. And let's get out there. V18, watch for the lights. So, we have two Lambos to the front, to the right. Lights are out, we're off. Three Lambos. Makes for great thumbnails, not gonna lie. In the thick of Lambos right now. Come on, Mikey. Respect that AI. I think I'm running 16th now. Ticker on the left. We'll update when I start cro bleh, when I cross the start finish line. By the way, if you're wondering for the reason, well. Besides so fun that I wanted to do a GT3 race because uh, I was watching the whoa I got left and right here Ooh, this is tight uh, what was I trying to say oh yeah I was watching the Blancpain Endurance at Monza awesome awesome race and uh, yeah it got me all hyped up plus Kunos released a bunch of screenshots for a set of course of competition and it is looking fantastic it's a little like this but better and wetter. Ooh. Ooh, that should be their new slogan. Patent pending, Kunos. So yeah, just kind of hyped for some GT racing. By the way, congratulations, fellow sim racer Nikki Team, running on the uh, in the Blancpain Endurance Series. And looked great at Monza. They were running top 10 early and then ran into some troubles. Ended up with a DNF, but that's okay. We're still proud of them as a community. And they should definitely hold their heads high. They look great early on, and I look forward to uh, seeing big things from them this season. Congrats to uh, Nikki Team and the whole uh, team at Aston Martin Racing. get this guy up straight but it doesn't look like it Eey, oh, totally cut me off go for it ooh SLS come on This pass. A little arrow pull from this McLaren here. I might even be able to get the McLaren under braking. With some luck. Yeah, he tucked in behind me, so the position is mine. And a little wide here, a little bit understeer, nothing too, too bad. Car feels great and sounds great. Oh, if this doesn't sound like your 2016 Porsche 911 GT3 R, it's because it's a Fonseca sound mod. Available for free through race department. Takes your enjoyment of this car from a measly nine point. Whoa. Did I bump that guy? I'll give him that position back. Takes your enjoyment of this car from a measly 9.5 to a solid 9.9. 10 if you're running VR. And I am not. Dang, VR is still not working and it's driving me crazy. I'm going to do a reinstall of Windows very, very soon. Hopefully that resolves it. If it does not, well... 
We can check the dump because there will be a Intel i5 with a 1080 video card freshly in the dump next Monday. Two fourteen is a miserable number. I need to get that down into at least the two elevens, probably two tens, in order to have a shot at placing, you know, top five here. But mostly in this for the fun of it. And should have the Lambo here. And with some luck, I might be able to get a run at these GTRs under braking. No, they're actually really, really fast in the straight line. They're pulling away from me, so I got nothing for them here. Made up some ground through that corner there. Still not in the position to strike, though. And my god, this game is beautiful. Mon dieu. Come on, guys. You guys are holding me up here. Where's the blue? Alright, gotta dig deep here, find some more speed. I hear Lewis Hamilton's uh, team lead in my ear. Okay, Lewis, got two ahead of you. Push, 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 gotta make up some time, Lewis. Dude, I've been throwing a car around a track at 300 kilometers an hour for an hour and a half. Doing the best I can, man. Don't tell me to go faster. Okay, Lewis, we hear you. Top 10 now for me. And more good things to come, because I'm about to overtake this uh, GTR right here, I believe. Let's get a decent launch here. Oh, out of the frying pan into the fire here. Right See you later, McLaren. Right. Nissan, I got you. There's a car on your right side. Clear right. So the real question is, I'm going to pass these guys very shortly. What the heck is ahead of that SLS? Six and a half seconds to make up. That's where you guys hit the skip button. Got one. Okay, SLS. It is your turn. Your number's been called. Surrender your position or face the consequence. This could be an interesting corner. Bob, 
No, it's not. I don't believe you, crew chief. Giving me bad advice and stuff. It's a little hairy, but at least we kept it on the on the track here. Didn't they get sixth position? Did they pit? Or is that just legit what I'm running? Good stuff. Keep it coming. All right. Now, with some worn tires, however, a lighter fuel load, I have... 9.1 seconds to make up. No traffic ahead of me, so hopefully I can make some time up. So the real question is, what am I going to talk about while we try and make up nine big seconds? Talk about the weather. Anybody want to hear about the weather? Weather has been fantastic here in my part of the world in Western Canada. Let me tell you about it for the next eight minutes. Ho, ho, ho. Nah. Nothing like that. Oh. I see hope. I see top five. It's on the horizon, but we can get there. We can get there. Actually, we can talk weather. Let's talk about the weather effects of the Blancpain. Assetto Corsa Competition. Actually, before I get into the weather, I want to talk about something about Assetto Corsa Competition. And I hope you guys are watching this. You probably skipped ahead, so for the three people that will actually hear this, listen up. Old Mike's got an opinion. So, uh, I noticed that they called it Assetto Corsa Competition and not Assetto Corsa Blancpain. Now, if they went to all the trouble to get the official license for Blancpain, centering everything around it, why wouldn't they put it in the title? Here's what I'm speculating. I think they're leaving the door open, contingent, to, whoop, 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 contingent upon the success of a set of course of competition, and I'm talking early success. So it remains to be determined, but will we see DLC packs for other race series? That's what I'm speculating, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, how cool would an Unreal Engine 4 based F1 game, or I guess racing sim in general, with uh, Formula DLC beat. I think it'd be fantastic coming from Kunos, and I really believe it might happen. Why not BTCC or TCR or something like that, or, you know, GTE? GTE did not have a big presence, of course, in uh, Assetto Corsa, so maybe the door could be open for that. I think they'd be very, very good at that. Let's have an official GTE, you know, 4 GT, that kind of thing. I think it'd be very, very good. And I think they could do it via DLC. So, initially, Assetto Corsa Competition probably be priced at, you know, 60 70 $80 US, whatever it is. And if you had a $30 DLC, which is not unreasonable in the sim racing world, that added open wheel racers. I'm telling you, I'd be into it. I hope that happens. I really, really hope. Alright, coming up to, well, sort of approaching the halfway mark of this race. And I am narrowing that gap. It's under five seconds now. What else? Oh yeah, the weather, the weather, the weather. So, I for one, like, 
don't get me wrong, the screenshots look phenomenal. I think it's visually a great looking game. I'm not actually really looking forward to weather effects all that much for me personally. I know a lot of people really cherish it and people love that. Some people went to Project Cars 2 just because of the uh, you know dynamic weather effects. And I think it's going to be cool, but I just, for some reason, I can't get my head around the enjoyment of driving. And it, night driving is one thing. Night driving, I think, is really, really cool. But driving in the wet, I just get very little pleasure out of doing that. I don't know why. Not to mention... Uh, just like I happen to own a 1080 video card, not at all optimized, but I, you know, hopefully I'll work that out in the next few weeks when I reinstall Windows. But um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I think the rain is going to be really, really hard. And I think to achieve anything like what those screenshots are showing recently, uh, you're going to need one heck of a video card. So I think those of you who have, you know, nine series cards and you know, maybe a 1050 or something like that, maybe even a 1060. I think, I don't know, speculation, speculation. I probably don't know enough to be having an opinion on this, but for me, I, I just think it's going to take a lot of uh, hardware to process those graphics. And, of course, graphics cards are as unaffordable as they've ever been, so it could be tough on a lot of people. So that's the downside for sure about those good graphics. You know, what's a 1080 Ti video card now? Not, I don't think you'll need a 1080 Ti necessarily, but uh, just in general, like a 1070, 1080 video card, you're looking at 500 US and up. That's a lot of money. For me, anyway. Your real end offer in the gap is 1.2. A lot of tire wear going on now. And I'm somehow back in the thick of things. So I managed to spout enough uh, unfounded opinions to uh, kill enough time to get myself back into the competition here. So one more position and we will be running top five. Nothing wrong with that. Fuel load looking good. I am set up for success, provided I do not send myself barreling into a wall with these worn tires. I'm glad I chose 15 laps instead of 10. There was that call again from the crew chief. Okay, Lewis. Been holding back. Only P2. Apologies, I know I've got a lot of subscribers in Britain. I apologize for the terrible British accent. I don't mean any disrespect. I'd be happy to hear your best Canadian accent. We do kind of talk funny. That lap was at 211.63. You're halfway home. We think about seven laps remaining on this tank. P5. What's my best Canadian accent? Oh, jeez, eh? Got this green Lamborghini, eh? Need to get it out the way. Jeez, eight. Almost out of me. So many Lambos in this race. Hmm. Thought about it there. Thought about it. Thought about it. I believe I have a sound mod for my Lambo, too. That sounds really wicked. I don't remember the base Kunos car sounding like that. Where are we at now? Are we number three? 
Or four, I guess. Oh yeah, there's a huge gap to one. It can happen, but I need to get my butt in gear. Sliding all over the place. Tires are screaming for mercy. There's a new fastest lap for Jake Man, 210.21. The car on your left side. As long as my competitors are also feeling that tire wear, it's all good. Alright, number three. Let's see, this could be another interesting. Whoa! SLS with the aggressive move. Nicely done. I'm happy to give that up. The next car is cold. All right. Should have him under braking into the next left. Good set up with the inside line here. And yes, I am aware that there are frame rate issues here. Just more of my ongoing joy with Windows. Oh, by the way, one more thing with the set of Corsa Competition. Um, yeah, it's just kind of heavy on my mind because it is... All those screenshots are leaking out more and more day by day and we're really... They said summer 17... Excuse me, summer 18... Summer 2018 is coming up in two months. We could have this within, I would guess, three or four months. That's going to fly by. We'll have that in no time. Anyway, the other thing I was going to talk about. What the heck was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we are doing endurance races, I don't know if they'll include 24 hours spa. Please, please, please let there be a save option. I really hope. I know there's going to be a lot of focus on online racing, and I'm sure, you know, you'll partner up with somebody or join a team to get through those 24-hour endurance races consecutively. But for those of us who live primarily in the single-player world, can we please, please, please get a save option? It would suck if I had to just pause it and leave my computer burning all night. You've just done a 1st is, is just flying. 10 seconds now the gap. I don't even know what kind of car it is. Got to look at the lineup. I don't know. Is there a Ferrari in the lineup? Could be a Ferrari way up there. So I'm running out of time, so unlikely that I'll catch it. I'd like to at least see him. Let's say just Mary. Slow down, I can't see your bumper. Hey man, slow down, I just want to read your bumper. Oh, and Smith, smooth into second position. Brilliant is right. All right, now the real hunt is on. Can I get within eyesight of number one? Gonna have to push on these worn tires. Now, 
Oh, he's running 209s. What the heck? Oh, I'm running faster than anybody. And that was with a bit of traffic. All right, let's close this gap. Will I get a glimpse of him here? I don't know what 10 seconds looks like at Road America. Nope, no glimpse. And that frame rate is driving me crazy. And this corner is not going to be very sharp. Hoping to rely on mechanical grip there, but can't do it. Not with these tires this late in the race. Under 10 liters of fuel left, if you're wondering why you're seeing those warning lights on the dash there. See if we gained any seconds here, or if this is going to be an immediate skip ahead. Nice video, Sim Racing 604. Thanks for letting us watch you suck. Oh, uh, yeah. I only gained 0.6 seconds back. So that's going to do it, guys. Uh, I would understand if you want to sign off now. Uh, I will not catch this guy in this race. Hope you had fun watching it. For those that choose to stick around, I will banter more about sim racing related stuff. But if not, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. All right, what do I want to banter about? Let's see, let's see, let's see. What do I want to banter about? Can we talk about missing corners and skipping frame rates and all that wonderful stuff? Everything that's happening to me right now. Can we talk about tire wear? I'd like to talk about tire wear. Can we talk about repeating mistakes? Can we talk about not learning from the previous lap? Let's talk about that. Actually, I mentioned GTE earlier. Let's talk about this. So R Factor 2 recently got a update. The GT Endurance, what do they call it? Endurance series something or other. Went to version 2.0 and includes some really, really wicked cars. So I don't think I featured it yet on this channel. I think I just did, uh, what did I do? Oh, I know, the uh, FSR Open Wheeler. That wicked bad car. So awesome. Um, but yeah, the uh, Endurance Series add-on available through the Steam Workshop also got an update. So if you're into this type of racing, you really can't do much better. Uh, it pairs nicely with the GT3 cars. It's uh, The GTE is a little, little bit faster. But if you dial back the difficulty to about 97... Is it the last lap of fuel? Am I going to run out of fuel here? I will not go in this lap. I'll have you know. Well, this could be... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I thought I missed that corner completely. Um, what was I saying? 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So R Factor 2. So those GT cars are absolutely fantastic. Both the GT3 cars. If you buy the GT3 pack, it's not cheap. I think it's about 16 bucks. You get what the Bentley, the uh, McLaren, the Mercedes, the Radical, and the Cor Callaway Corvette, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, those cars, like I said, pair very, very nicely with the GTE pack, the Endurance Series car. Cars available through uh, Steam Community, or Steam Workshop, I should say. Dial back the... Well, I guess it's kind of robbing Peter to pay Paul. I was going to say dial the uh, difficulty back from 100 to 97, but that will, of course, dial the GT3s back as well, so... Yeah, your choice. Anyway, mix them up. Run a multi-class race, I guess. Whatever difficulty you prefer. And I guarantee you, you will not have a bad time. Been running a lot of Automobilista t lately, too. Because they just went to what, version 1.5.1. Which made me very happy. Love that sim. I was bummed out that they said uh, 1.5 was the final version. Not that... 1.5 was bad, but I was just like, ugh. I hate to know that this is the end of an era. Oh, Looking down at my fuel. That's true. We don't want the penalty. Alright, so cruising in. 12 seconds to make up in one lap. No problem. What are we going to do after Sector 1? Alright. The worn tires, just going to try and keep it between the lines. Oh yeah, Automobilista. So yeah, 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 they're uh, in version 1.5.1. Added the Formula Ultimate 2018. And believe me when I tell you, it's as good a game or excuse me, a good a sim car as you will ever drive in your life. It is absolutely outstanding. I, uh, I'm going to try and sit in in just a few hours on the Azerbaijan F1 race, the uh, live commentary by Ferrariman601. Usually a small community of people who just kind of gather to talk F1 and sim racing as we watch the race independently. Um, but yeah, we always talk just about sim racing in general, and I would love to bring that to their attention. I'm probably going to be spouting off about that. Because I just can't get enough of that car. i got to get to bed here. It's very, very late in Western Canada. Well, late when you're a dad like me. And yeah, the race starts in five hours, so I should really get to bed. But uh, anyway, when I wake up, uh, I will be espousing the incredible, incredible work of Ritza Studios on that Formula Ultimate 2018. I kind of want to drive it now that I'm talking about it, but i got to get to bed, got to get to bed. It's going to be a caffeine kind of day already. I don't want to make it worse. I just want to be tired. I just, I don't want to be tired, tired. No! Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Yes! Huzzah, you guys can hear that clap, I guess. Hear that, hear that? That's me clapping for myself, for my excellent fuel economy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was fun, just kind of driving and talking. Uh, Porsche 911 GT3R is a wicked bad car. It's even made better with the Fonseca mod. Uh, looking forward to the Seto Corsa Competition. Congratulations to Nikki team and everybody at Aston Martin Racing on an awesome, awesome race last weekend in Monza. Looking forward to more good things from them. What else did we talk about? R Factor 2, um, which has nothing to do with this game, but um, let's see. Yeah, their Endurance Series updated 2.0. It's fantastic. And um, Automobilista got an update as well. All awesome. Good things happening in the sim racing community. Thank you guys for watching. I'm done babbling. We will see you next time.